morning all, welcome to Kaz Fitness. So let's do today some exercises for osteoporosis. So weight bearing is really important. So if you want a band or you want your tins, a spaghetti, whatever you've got, all your weights, grab them now before we start. So come to standing. Stand with your feet hip width apart. Nice and tall through the spine, with the shoulders relaxed back and down. Soften through the knees, find your neutral spine. Pull your tummy and pelvic floor in and up to a third. And take some even breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. So just relax through the shoulders. And the other way round. And relax through the neck, take the ear to the shoulder, and up, ear to the shoulder, and up, chin to chest, gently looking up, back to centre, look over the shoulder, and back, over the shoulder, and back, so come into squats, knees over the toes, pushing the heels down, relax through the shoulders, keep that tummy pulled in, make sure the knees stay in line with the toes, Morning Darren, morning Sass, and two more. So let's do opposite arm and leg, lift and lengthen, and down. So open out through the chest, squeeze into the bottom, lengthen through to the fingers, to the toes. Morning Ruth, good, two more to each side. One more to each side. And let's go to calf raises. So come up onto your toes and down. So you can keep your hands by your sides if you want to. Lengthen. So two more. Good. So side bends. Reach towards the knee. Pull the tummy in. Lengthen. Open out through the side for the rib cage. Remember to breathe. Inhaling, exhaling. Good, one more to each side. And again, let's go into those squats, those squats. Knees over the toes, push the heels down, relax through the shoulders. And two more. And up into your calf raises, onto your toes and down, onto your toes. So two more, one more. Hold your last one up, see if you can squat here on your toes. If it's too much, take the heels down, or you can hold on to something. Good, two more, one more and relax down. So just walk through the feet, and relax through the shoulders. So let's do a roll down, but hinging from the hips. So soften through the knees, hinge from the hips to come forwards. You can take the hands to the knees if you need to, tuck the chin, pull the tummy in, and roll all the way back up. So hinge from the hips, soften through the knees, roll all the way back up. So hinge from the hips, Pull the tummy in, tuck the chin, roll back up. Let's do two more. So hinge in and roll in. So hinge in and roll in. So hinge in and roll in. Good. So just relax there. Walk through the feet. Relax through the shoulders. So grab your band or your tins out of your fridge or cupboard or your weights if you've got weights at home. So standing with your feet hip width apart, soften through the knees, pull the tummy in, tuck the tailbone under, relax through the shoulders. So let's just start with the weights, hands by our sides and let's do squats. So knees over the toes, push the bottom back and back up. Knees over the toes, squeeze back up. As you come up, push the heels into the floor, 
Use the glutes, so squeeze the glutes, come all the way up. Make the glutes work, make the quads, the front of the legs work. Draw the tummy in. Good. Let's do two more here. One more. And let's take it to biceps. So biceps, squeeze the elbows, lift and down. Lift and down. Now if you want to, you could squat and do your bicep at the same time. But you don't have to. You could just stand and do your biceps here. But make sure that elbow stays glued to your side. So you're working the front of the arm here. Good, let's do four, three, two, one. Relax back down. So let's go back to squat. So squat down and up. Squeeze in through those glutes, push through the heels. Make sure your knees go out over your toes. Good. So four more here, four, three, two, and one. So let's work the back of the arms, so the triceps back of the arms. So you can stand with one foot in front of the other, you can keep both feet here. You're gonna hinge from the hips, lift the elbows high, keep the elbows lifted to the ceiling, and take the arms back and to in. So take the arms back and to in. Back, draw that tummy in, keep the chin slightly tucked. Working through the back of the arms. Good. Nice work. Okay, let's do six more. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold the arms in front of you. Now open out and squeeze in through the shoulder blades for reverse flies and back in. So open out through the chest, squeeze through the shoulder blades and back in. Open out, squeeze back in. Draw that tummy in, keep hinging forwards from the hips, knees are soft. Good. So six, five, four, three, two, one, good, hold the weights down, let's squat for eight, so down and up, so just giving the arms a little rest, breathe, squeeze through those glutes as you come up, so come all the way up, four, three, two and one, so soften through the knees, back nice and long, tummy in, lift the arms out to the side, so the arms are only lifting to the shoulders and back down, keep the elbows soft, up and down, so work through the shoulders, work through the upper back. Good, so inhale in, exhale in, inhale in, exhale in. So four, three, two, Hold up here if you can and just do little circles. Little circles. Good, and circle the other way round. Good work. Bring them down, have a rest. Just reach towards the knee, lengthen through the side and down. Lengthen through the side and down. Lengthen. Good, two more to each side. So weight bearing exercise, especially if you've got osteoporosis, is really important because it helps to repair the bone. So we're going to do all those exercises for another round. So let's squat. Good. Remember if it gets too much, you could start with one round and you can build up to two, three rounds of doing maybe 12 to 15 of each exercise that you're doing. Good. Let's just do four. Three, two, one, and let's take it back to the biceps. So you're lifting and you're lowering. 
you're lifting and you're lowering. Remember, if you want to, you could squat. You do not have to. You can squat. You do not have to. Keep the heels down. Keep the knees over the toes if you're squatting. Otherwise, standing still here. Good. Let's do six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. So hold the weights down. Hinge from the hips. Lift the elbows. And let's go back to those triceps. So take it back and in. Take it back and in. So keep that tummy in. Keep the back nice and long. Good. So let's do six more. Two more. One more. And let's hold the weights in front. Keep hinging from the hips. Pull back tummy in. Elbows soft. Lift to the shoulders. And down. So squeeze in through the shoulder blades. Work into the upper back. Open out through the chest. Good. Come on, six more. Nearly there. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Have a rest by just squatting. Let's just do squats. And then we'll finish with lifting the arms out to the side. Good. So six more. Four more. And let's just lift the arms. So elbows soft, lift to the shoulders and down. Tuck that tummy in. Tailbone under. Breathe. Six more. Two. Hold them up. Let's circle. Come on, circle. And the other way around. Circle. Good. Take them to the sides, relax down. So remember, if you only want to do one set, you can just do one set. If you wanted to do another set, feel free to do three sets. But we'll finish on two. So one more to each side. And relax. So relax through the shoulders, relax through the arms, let the legs relax. Put your weights, bands or tins down on the table, on the floor, wherever you are, and then just bring yourself down to the mat. So bring yourself down to your mat. So take your hands under your shoulders, take your knees under your hips, draw your tummy in, lengthen through to the top of the head, tuck the chin slightly. Now just lengthen through one arm, up towards the ear, and down. So alternate, lengthen the arm up towards the ear and down. Arm up towards the ear and down. Arm up towards the ear and down. Good. One more. And let's do the same with the leg. So lift and lengthen through the leg and lower. Lift and lengthen through the leg and lower. Lift and lengthen through the leg and lower. Now keep the hips nice and level. Don't let those hips drop. Good. One more. So last one. And let's do opposite arm and leg. Lift and lengthen and down. Lift and lengthen and down. Lift and lengthen and down. 
Good. Remember to keep the hips in, as though they've got a spirit level on them or headlamps on your hip bones that are shining backwards. Let's take it out to a diagonal. So this time, lift, take it out to a diagonal, back in and down. Lift, take it out to a diagonal, in and down. Lift, diagonal, in and down. Lift, diagonal, in and down. Two more to each side. Concentrate, don't lift too high. Think about lengthening. So one more to each side. One more to each side. Good, relax down into your child pose stretch. So bottom onto the heels, lengthen through the arms, let the forehead, let the chest relax down to the mat. And just take a moment here to really allow that lower back to relax off, relax through the hips, through the pelvis. Only go down as far as you feel able to get down comfortably. Good, take the arms round to the side. Nice side release here. Back to centre, round to the other side. Good, back to centre. So come into your push-up position. So push-up position. Come onto your hands and your knees or three quarters, your choice. Make sure that your elbows stay over your wrists. You're bringing the chest down towards the floor, but only as far as you want to. I apologise, Craig. I know you've done push-ups this morning. Two sets of 10. So down and up. So you're inhaling. You're exhaling down. You're inhaling up. Exhale down. Inhale up. If you find it too hard on a mat, then feel free to do it against a wall. So when you've done your first and set a temp, you're going to have a rest before doing your second set. Good. So when you finish your first set, just have a little rest, relax off through the wrists. And then when you're ready, when you're when you are ready, come back and do your second set. So 10 push-ups down and up. Down and up. Down and up. You are breathing. In and out, in and out. Good, when you've done your second set of 10, again, have a rest, however you want to. You can go to child pose stretch. You could just sit back, you can relax through the wrists. Release off, good. So let's do a bit of back strength. So come down onto the floor. Lie on the mat. So take your hands to right to the floor so the elbows are at right angles. Tuck your chin. Keep your feet on the floor. Now remember to always work at your own levels. So if you want to, keep the hands on the floor or lift head, neck, shoulders, hands, arms away from the mat and then lower back down. So inhale, exhale to lift, inhale at the top, exhale to lower. If you find that you can lift and you want to, you could lengthen the arms forwards, come back to the right angles and then lower. So your choice, you don't have to lengthen. Try not to lift too high, think about lengthening as you lift. Keeping the bottom nice and relaxed. Working through the back muscles. So let's do two more. One more. And relax down. So take your hands underneath your forehead. Bring your legs close together. 
So keep the hips pushed into the mat. And now lift and lengthen through the legs and lower. So lift and lengthen through one or both legs. So remember, again, if you struggle to lift both legs, do one leg at a time. Just make sure that your hips stay on the mat so the pelvis is staying nice and level. The neck and the shoulders are relaxed. So you're working through the glutes into your lower back. Good work. Let's do four. Two more. And relax. So let's go to dart. Take your hands to your sides, palms facing the ceiling. So if again you find this too hard to lift, you could go back to taking your hands on the floor here. Lift your head, neck, shoulders, arms, and if you can, one or both legs off the floor. Keep the chin tucked and lower. So try to make the back muscles work. So we're strengthening through the back and lower. If you can, as you lift, hold for a second, draw the shoulder blades back and down, and then lower. So lift, draw the shoulder blades back and down, and lower. Keep the chin tucked, keep the neck nice and relaxed. Good work. Let's just do two more here. And one more. And relax down. Good. Come up into your cat stretch. So come up into your cat to cow. So cat to cow. In your own time, tuck the chin, pull the tummy in, round through the back, and then sink the tummy in, look forwards. So come up and sink. Come up and sink. Relax back into your child pose stretch again. So really soft, really lengthen through to the fingers. Good. So coming up, let's come to our sides. If you struggle to lie on your side with your ear down on your arm, then get yourself a pillow or a block. But bring yourself round to your side. Take the toes slightly forwards. Draw your tummy in and make sure you're in a nice long line on your mat. Chin is away from the chest. Now draw that tummy in and try to lift both legs off the floor and lower. Now again, you don't have to lift high. Think about lengthening through the leg rather than trying to lift all the way to the ceiling. Draw that tummy in to work through the core and to strengthen through into the back. If you find it hurts the hip, try to lie slightly forwards or back off your hip, or you could always take a small towel or blanket under the hip to support. But stay nice and long and breathe. So let's do four more. So four, three, two. Hold the legs off the floor, hold, breathe, open out through the chest. Inhale, exhale, and lower. Have a little rest, hug the knees in. Give your legs a rest, give the back a rest. Good. So let's do it again on the same side. So again, we're going to do two sets. If you want to, you could always do up to three sets. So lift both legs off the floor and lower. Lift and lengthen and lower. Lift and lengthen and lower. Good. Keep that tummy in back nice and long. Chin up away from the chest. So four, three, two, 
Hold the legs off the floor, hold and breathe. Open out through the chest, keep that shoulder back for four, three, two, and relax. Hug the knees in and release off with a clamp. So keep your feet together, keep the knees, the hips facing forwards. Open your top knee towards the ceiling, squeeze into that bottom and back down. So open and squeeze and back down. So open and squeeze and back down. Good, two more. One more. And relax. So relax down, give that leg a rest, give the back a rest. And then bring yourself up and flip yourself round to the other side. So if you've got your cushion, bring your cushion with you. Otherwise, lie in that arm. Eight. Ear down on your arm. Toes slightly forward. Draw the tummy in. Open out through that shoulder, through the chest. And inhale, exhale, lift both legs off the floor and lower. So think about lengthening as you lift, not try to lift too high. If it's uncomfortable on that hip, find a comfortable position or take a small towel underneath the hip. Good, breathe. For four, three, two, hold the legs off the floor, breathe for four, three, two, and lower, have a little rest, hug the knees in. And again, lengthen through the legs, toes slightly forwards, draw that tummy in, ear down on the arm, chin up away from the chest. Lift both legs off the floor and lower. Lift both legs off the floor and lower. Lift and lengthen and lower. Good work, keep going, four more. Three, two, hold the legs off the floor, lengthen, draw that tummy in, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. For four, three, two, one, Relax down, hug the knees in, relax through that leg. Keep the feet together, hips facing forwards, open out through that knee and down. Open out through the knee. So squeeze into the bottom, work into the glutes, into that medius glute in the side of the bottom. And two more. One more. Good work, have a rest. Relax off through that leg, relax through the back. And then when you feel ready, roll yourselves over onto your back. So come over onto your back and let's do some um, ab back strengthening hip work. So come over, if you need a cushion or something underneath your head, you can take a cushion under the head. Feet are hip width apart, lengthen through the back, pull your tummy and pelvic floor in and up, and make sure that your back is comfortable for you on the mat. So you don't want a big arch through the back, you want to 
Try and find a neutral position that is comfortable for you. And if at any point it hurts, then don't do the back exercises. So we're gonna do one leg stretch. So if you struggle to lift the legs off the floor, keep the feet on the floor and imagine a marble under the heel and lengthen and back in, alternating, keeping the back pressure the same on the mat. If you can, lift your legs to tabletop and draw one knee into the chest, lengthen the other leg out towards the floor. Now your back position isn't changing, draw your tummy in and concentrate on keeping the back comfortable on the mat. The head, neck and shoulders are nice and relaxed and you're breathing. So if you've not got any neck problems or you want to work a bit harder, you can lift the head, neck and shoulders off the mat but if you've got any osteoporosis, any neck problems, then keep the head down on your cushion or on your mat. Good, let's breathe for four. Three. Two. One. And relax, hug the knees in. So let's go to the hamstrings, the back of the legs, the bottom of the back. Again, if you struggle to lift the back off, the legs off the floor because it hurts the back, do one leg at a time. Just lift and lower to lengthen through that hamstring. So do up to 12 on one leg and then change. Otherwise, lift your legs to tabletop and scissor alternating through your legs. So again, head, neck and shoulders can stay down or lift. Do not lock out through your knee. Keep the knee nice and soft. You're lengthening through the hamstrings, through the back of the leg. Inhale. Exhale. Control your move. So we're just trying to get some length through the muscles of the back of the leg, the bottom and the back. If you're doing one leg, please make sure that you have changed. And if we're doing both legs, we're doing four, three, two, one, and relax. So hug the knees in. So relax the feet back down to the floor. So if you have got a band or something and you want to use a band, you could put a band around your foot. We're going to do leg circles. You don't have to have a band. So knee slightly soft. This knee stays facing the ceiling. Relax the shoulders back and down. Inhale, exhale, draw a circle with this leg as wide as you can without letting this knee move. So if this knee comes over and moves, okay, you're not doing anything. You want to stabilise through the pelvis. Think about keeping the hips nice and level and circle this leg round. So pelvic stabilisation, hip stabilisation. Good, circle the other way. So circle that leg round. Inhale, exhale at the top. Inhale, exhale. Good, two more. One more, and just hug that knee in, just relax through that leg. Relax down, lift the other leg. So see if one side is easier than the other to keep this knee um, still. So inhale, exhale, round. Head, neck and shoulders could lift if you want them to, but remember if the neck hurts, you're keeping that neck head on the floor. Good, circle the other way round. So two more. One more. And hug that knee in. Just release. 
Hug both knees in. And relax the feet back to the floor. So bring the feet back towards the bottom, hip width apart. And let's do a nice, easy shoulder bridge. Take your hands to the floor. Till, lift the bottom of the floor. Now squeeze through the bottom as you lift. Keep the knees facing the ceiling, hips level. Come up to the shoulder blades. Now let yourself relax down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Bottom sinks into the mat. So tilt, squeeze, lift. And lower. So mobilizing through the spine. Strengthen through the glutes, through the lower back. Relax soft. Let's do a couple more. Good. One more. And relax down. Hug the knees in. Relax however you feel most comfortable. Just release off through the back, through the pelvis. Good. So relax the feet down to the floor and lift one leg to the ceiling. Hold above or below the knee and gently pull in. Relax the shoulders back and down. Keep your bottom on the floor and feel a length through the back of the leg. So just hold and breathe wherever you feel most comfortable. If you struggle and you've got a band, you could use a band. But go careful that you don't overstretch through the hamstring with the band. So if you feel it easing, pull into it slightly more. Keep the head, neck and shoulders down. Think about that length through the leg, keeping that knee slightly soft. And back down, and the other side, so lift and lengthen. Hold above or below the knee, gently pull in. Keep the shoulders back and down. You might find that one side is tighter than the other. That's perfectly normal, but try to just ease it off. Or you could do the one side more than the other to try and even them out. to come in slightly more. Breathe. Good, relax down. So just hug the knees in and roll yourself up to sit in. So come to sit in. Just let the feet come together. Let the knees relax out to the sides. Sit in as tall as you can. If you needed to, you could sit on a block or a cushion. Open out through the inner thighs, through the hip. Good. So slowly bring yourselves up to stand in. Bring yourselves up to stand in. So take one foot forward, bend your back knee, push your bottom up to the ceiling and again come into a hamstring stretch. So keeping the foot flat, pushing the bottom back. So you can take the hands onto the supporting leg but don't bring it onto the knee. You could lift that foot off the floor if you wanted to. And back down. So lift that foot front leg, bring the knees together, push your hips forward. You can keep this supporting knee soft or lengthen it is your choice. 
Think about the length through the front of the leg, through the hip flexor down to quad to the knee. If you need to hold on to something, feel free to hold on to something. Draw that knee up to the chest, hug the knee in. And down. So the other side, take the leg forwards. Bend the back leg, push the bottom up to the ceiling. Take the hands onto the supporting leg. Relax the shoulders back and down. Keeping the foot flat, or you could lift that foot off the floor. Take it down. So lift that front foot, knees together. Hips push forwards, lengthen through the back, draw that tummy in. Bring that knee up towards the chest, hug the knee in. And down. So just walk through the feet, relax off through the ankles, through the leg. And take the hands behind into the small of the back. Open out through the chest. Let the shoulders relax back and down. And hold to chest stretch. Good. So now release. Take one arm across the chest. Hold that arm. And look over the shoulder of the arm that you are holding. So feel a stretch through the shoulder. Now lift the same arm to the ceiling. Take it down between the shoulders and either just hold the arm in front so you're holding the, the front of the arm or take your fingers together at the back to take the hands together. So hold where you feel most comfortable but do not hold on to your elbow. So tricep stretch. And release, so other side, take the arm across and hold. Look over the shoulder of the arm that you are holding. If it doesn't matter how you hold your arm, you could hold the hand or take the back of the hand to the arm. Just take the arm across and hold. Good boy. And take the same arm up and down. So again, either just hold in the front and gently push back or take the fingers together at the back, open out through that tricep. Good, just reach forwards to open out through the chest, uh, sorry, through the back. So open out through the shoulder blades, drop the chin. And release. So should we finish with that roll down again? So remember we're not rolling down, we're hinging from the hips. Take the hands to the thighs, soften through the knees, tuck the chin, pull the tummy in, roll up, release through the back. So hinge forwards, bend the knees, tuck the chin, pull the tummy in and round all the way up. Let's just do two more. So hinge, down, all the way up. Hinge, down, all the way up. So relax through the shoulders. Release off through the neck. Take the ear to the shoulder and up. Ear to the shoulder and up. Chin to chest. Gently looking up. Back to centre. Look over the shoulder and back. Over the shoulder. And back, stand with your feet hip width apart. Nice and tall through the spine. Shoulders relax back and down, soften through the knees, neutral spine. So tummy, put it into a third. Take some nice breaths in and out. Well done, you worked really hard. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a like. And I'll see you all again later. Bye.